Hi there, I'm Yolanda Gamp from How to Cake It. This week I'm caking a fish cake. And as I've said many times before, the most important thing when caking is what? Finding the right model. Where's my fishing rod? In honor of Father's Day this week, I have caked a fish. You know, for that outdoorsy type dad. Now there's all kinds of dads. There's sporty dads, handy dads, intellectual fathers. Thanks to Wish for sponsoring this video. I had a fun time using Wish to get great gifts for all the dads in my life and some props for this video, where I will act as many types of dads. I love coming to this freshwater stream that flows into a waterfall. Sir Squeeze, as usual, I'm always rescuing him. Walter, oh, come here. What are you doing here? Let me try your eyes. You're angry? I just, fine, stay, fine. Oh. This'll do. Now let's cake it. Wish and fish rhyme. <laughs> yes, they do. That wasn't even planned. No. <laughs> to begin making this cake, I baked 10 pounds of my ultimate vanilla cake, and I dyed it like a pinky, orangey. Like a salmon? Coral. It's more of a trout, actually. <laughs> it's in the trout family. I began by removing the caramelization from the bottom of my cake. To all the fishing dads out there, if I didn't get it just right, I've never been fishing. Really? I'm so surprised. Isn't that shocking? <laughs> so now that I've removed the caramelization from the bottom of the cake, I'm gonna flip it back right side up. And I have a lovely trout template that I made that stares at me. I'm going to lay my template onto my cake and begin to cut out the front end of my fish. This only takes up about half the width of my cake, so I cut out that front part. Then I take that second piece of cake, cut away the caramelization at both ends and butt the cakes up against each other. Butt the cakes up. Now I can continue to carve the rest of the fish. So now I have a basic sort of two-dimensional shape of a fish. What I need to do is start carving around the sides and just getting the real shape of a fish. Because right now it's like a straight-edged fish, which I have never caught. Even though I've never been fishing, I don't think they look like that. Wish is a really amazing site. They have an app as well, so you can shop on your phone. And they have anything you're looking for at really affordable prices. And didn't we get our stuff like in three days? We got our stuff in three days. Okay. Boom, or. So this was my first time using Wish. Do you guys use it? Anyone? Leave a comment below. But I found that it was really simple and easy to use. There's a huge array of things to choose from. The cool thing is you get really great deals because some of the products come directly from the manufacturer. So you get the lowest price. Wish ships anywhere across the globe. So they've got you covered. So make sure to check out Wish. Download the app and shop. You can do so through the link in the description below. Once I'm happy, I decide I want this fish to be a little plumper because I feel like in fishing, the prize is like the, they, you seem to celebrate like the bigger the fish, yes, right? Totally. Am I wrong? So I'm gonna just plump up this fish with my leftover sort of square of cake that I have. I quickly cut it into two layers and laid it on top in the main sort of belly part of the, I don't think that's the belly. In the main <laughs> body of the fish. It's the belly. Yeah, but it's on, it's on the side. Uh, yeah. So then I just continue carving, making that extra cake part of the fish I already have. I'm so glad I did this. So now what I wanna do is just cut that main body into two layers. Cause one thing I love is at the end when everything is decorated, especially when it looks like something else, when I cut into it, you're like, oh yeah, it's cake. And for that, I want some nice layers of Italian meringue buttercream. You know what your dad needs? More Italian meringue buttercream. He deserves it. So it's time to carefully disassemble. <laughs> I don't know, you know. Unassemble? It's not unassemble. And I'm gonna call in Sir Squeeze to help me simple syrup these layers. I don't think Sir Squeeze is a dad. I don't think he's a dad. He never talks about his kids. He's never brought like smaller, simple syrup bottles around. <laughs> Little baby syrup bottles. 
Yeah. yeah, so. Now it's time to fill my cake with Italian meringue buttercream. I'm just gonna spread a lovely layer on, and again, use my spatula to help carefully pick up the other fish layers and put the fish back together. And now, oh, I don't have a megaphone. Why do I constantly forget the megaphone? I wonder. I feel like, yeah, I have to use it. Fathers would use megaphones. Cody? Yeah. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna make this a good one. It's time to crumb, crumb, and chill. <laughs> that chill was not. The no. chill was lagging, right? Yeah, okay. the chill was lagging. It's time to crumb, crumb, and chill. <laughs> Is that weird? <laughs> I'm overthinking this a lot. My crumb goat is chilled. Now what I want to do is ice my fish one more time and place it in the fridge to chill again. I realized at this point that I never cut out the mouth of the fish. So the cake is iced, but I'm gonna lay my template back on top and cut out the mouth. It's actually easier to cut out when your cake is nicely chilled. Once it's cut out, just make sure to ice a little bit of buttercream inside the mouth. Why do I, why am I doing this? <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm reliving the experience. It's a big one. Woo! Hold on. Is it a big one? Yes. And it's very heavy. This is the second fish I caught today. <laughs> So this is one of the most interesting fondant colors I've ever made. And I've decided to call it grayish, <laughs> which is, do you know this is a design term? Like if we were talking about paint for walls, grayish, there's a whole selection of grayish. It's gray, but it's beige, you know? So I roll out my grayish fondant. Of course I measure my fish, the length, the width, and make sure my fondant is bigger than that. And then I pick it up on a French rolling pin and drape it over my fish. I really think that fish is a really good cake to start with. You can make this on at any size. You can make a, make a goldfish. Here you go, Dad. Here's your one bite goldfish. But it's sort of very forgiving in shape. So you can learn to carve with a cake like this and we're gonna texture it so you also don't have to worry about how smooth your fondant looks at this point. Mine looks smooth, it looks good though. It's a weird kind of smooth fish <laughs> right now. Inside the mouth is a little more difficult, it's very small, it's hard to get into. So just do your best and smooth the fondant down into the mouth. If it rips or tears, that's okay. Use a little extra piece, roll it out thin and just pat it inside. Guys, I've got a new product alert. These are How To Cake It Mix Em Up stickers and the best part is they are wipeable and they are reusable. So you can stick it on your hand mixer, your stand mixer, and if you change your mind, switch it up. I'm Do gonna it. stick a sticker of my stand mixer on my stand mixer. It's stand mixerception. <laughs> The next thing I need to do is make this fish scaly. I feel like this is the one thing all fish have in common. So to create this texture, I'm using a really basic tool, a piping tip. I'm just gonna use a nice small round piping tip and I'm gonna press it into my fondant slightly on an angle over and over and over and over and over and over again until the fish is covered in scales, which for you will be 10 seconds of this fit. <laughs> Yo, we can show them all of it if you really want us to. They will be on the edge of their seats. <laughs> she's still scaling? Is she st she's still scaling. She's not even halfway and she's still scaling. It will be so exciting. Now I wanna build up the face just a bit. So I'm gonna roll out some more grayish fondant, making sure it's large enough to cover the face. Make sure to just wet the surface of the face a bit so the fondant sticks to fondant. Drape it over and then sort of recut the shape of the face and trim away the excess. So I need to create the gills on the fish's cheek. For this, I'm just using sculpting tools. I like using a ball tool um, and I'm just carefully sort of indenting. And this template was really helpful, I have to say. It was one of my favorite templates ever made. Do you keep the templates? No, because they tend to get dirty. And I'm very, this is where I become like an artiste. I feel like, I'm not joking. I've become an artiste. I'm like, I'm done with trout. 
I don't cake trellis anymore. I don't need this. Where's the recycling bin? It's like I've, I've created the piece and I'm letting it out into the world. It's not mine anymore. So I have created the gills on the fish's cheek. I'm also gonna make an indent for where its eyeball will go. So the next thing I wanna do is use that ball tool again to just create an indent for the eyeball. I don't want its eye to be bulging. And now this fish needs some lips. Fish have lips. They do. Yeah. They definitely do. They're thin lips. But they're lips. They're the opposite of Kylie Jenner lips. Yes, no. <laughs> they're the opposite. What I do for that is use some more grayish fondant. I roll out some cords. And then I just um, use some clear piping gel to glue on the lips and just shape them and make them look natural. This is a natural fish. No injections. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's born. I'm the modern handy dad. Is there something handy I can do? <laughs> Let me straighten this up for you, little lady. <laughs> I wouldn't call that being handy as much as just being your mom dad. Call it what you want. It is what it is. It's time for this fish to have some fins and a tail. This fish right now can't swim. <laughs> I can't even think about throwing this fish back in the water. That'd be cruel. So to create the fins and tail, I cut these parts out of my template and now I have individual little templates. I'm using more grayish fondant and I'm just gonna roll it out one fin at a time. And I want the top of the fin where it meets the fish to be a little thicker and then become thinner. And now I'm gonna use sculpting tools to help me pull and texture that fondant in one direction. To add the fin to the fish, uh, I make sure it's in the right place with my template and then I just brush a little clear piping gel onto the top of the fin and glue it to the fish. The fish is different thicknesses in different areas. So anywhere you need to help sort of prop up the fin so it's just not flat and laying on the fish. You can use some more grayish fondant and sort of create like a little ramp that's just gonna sit under it, but you don't wanna see it. Make sure you cut it smaller than the fin and that will give the fin some life. A fin ramp. A fin ramp, yes. <laughs> you never know when you're gonna need one. And once I'm happy with all of my fins, I move on to the tail. I'm making the tail in the same manner. I just need more fondant and I need to keep in mind that at the top, it has to sort of curve around the bottom of the fish. So I cut that out, I cut out the shape, I texture it, um, I place it up against my fish, and then I just sort of finesse it toward the fish. And that's sort of the seam hiding for this cake. Got it. At this point, I wanna make my eyeball. For this, I'm using a little bit of gum paste. I'm gonna quickly dye it yellow. I'm not gonna glue it to the fish yet, but I wanna make sure that it's the right size for the little eye valley that we've created. I think it's an eye pocket or socket. Socket. He has such beautiful eye valleys. <laughs> Hello. I'm the intellectual father. The cake, it's very interesting. There's a cake that looks like a coconut drink. Because you want to look professional at all times. The jacket, the tie. This way, if I'm at an event and it's warm, I still look intellectual. I look like more like Johnny Depp in like an 80s movie, but roll with me. And to bring life to any cake, I usually use edible paint. It's so impactful, like it really, really makes a difference. I wanted to protect my cake board. So what I did is I cut out just a bunch of strips of parchment paper, and then I'm gonna slip them underneath the cake all the way around. This way I can paint freely without worrying about having to go back and clean up the board. I'll just pull them out when I'm done. And I covered this cake board with nice like, plank wood looking. That's exactly where a fish would want to be. Um, well, well other no, than no other, <laughs> other than fresh water. Although my grayish was a great base color, uh, I need to start with a base coat of just silver. So I don't want it to be too silver. It's not a ring, uh, it's a fish. So I'm going to mix together some silver and some pearl luster dust with food grade alcohol and then paint the entire fish, even the inside of the mouth with that silver. Now I wanna paint sort of the top of the fish 
uh, and the top fins and the top of its face, which have like a, what the color be? It's, it's sort of more goldy, more browny goldy. There's a complete list of all the colors I used to paint this fish on the How to Cake It blog, and you can get there by clicking the I, the letter I, which is in wish and fish. <laughs> I told you I was an artiste today, didn't I? <laughs> the interesting thing about painting layers, you're painting it over another color, it might look different than you thought. So just play along, paint, adjust it as you need to. And of course, dilute the paint with clear food grade alcohol so that it is paintable, but not runny. The next thing I wanna do is paint sort of the pink section along the center of the fish. I think this is why I ended up choosing a trout. Because I looked up salmon, I looked up tuna, I looked up at the trout, like, some had some pink. blush. Yeah. I liked it. I really, really liked it. For this, I mixed together some pretty pink and a little bit of orange, and I started, and then I felt like it looked too orange. So I added some yellow to it. Once again, it might look right in the bowl to you, but you don't know until you put it on the fish over those other layers. The belly of most fish tends to be sort of whiter. So for this, I'm gonna paint on some satin white. Keep on continuing to paint your fish, use all the colors you have until you're happy with how it looks. <laughs> Make sure to texture, you can dab, you can try different brushes, use some dry brushes. Just keep painting until you're happy and keep layering the texture. I'm the sporty dad. Was that sporty? <laughs> I can't believe I caught it. Come on, guys! You're in the end zone! That's the thing, right? Yeah. Come on! Shoot! Score! It's not a foul! I lost my cool. I just love sports so much. The next texture is the one I'm the most excited about because this is the other reason I chose the trout, not just the blush. It kind of has like an animal print. It has like speckles. So for this, I'm going to use some gel color, just a bit with a little food grade alcohol. And I definitely want to use a round tipped brush. And I'm going to literally speckle the cake. So I need to go back to that eyeball that we created. So what I wanna do is paint the eyeball with a little bit of buttercup yellow mixed with clear food grade alcohol. Just hold the little eyeball in your hand and now we can glue this eyeball into the socket with a little clear piping gel. You can press the eyeball down right in the center with your fingertip. Don't worry about the mark you leave because we're going to paint on a pupil. And for this, I'm just gonna use straight up black gel color. The reason I'm using straight up gel is I definitely don't want my paint to run. That will look scary. And I want it to remain glossier. So if I use straight up gel, it will dry differently than paint. During the process of this fish, I came up with the idea of cutting open the gills, because you know how fish like, isn't that them breathing? Yeah. But in the end, I'm glad I did it. And it was funny, because when I cut in, I was actually surprised to see cake inside. <laughs> Thanks again to Wish for sponsoring this video and don't forget guys, download the Wish app using the link below and shop. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And now I'm gonna fillet this fish. For more cakes, make sure to click here. But now that we're done with this little guy, it's time to set him free. Thank you for your service. See you next week. Ha, 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 ha.